guys, Tedis here, and welcome back to my channel. Many people ask, why the heck do you look like that? And I tried some curls. This is Timo slash Shein uh, cheap knockoff version of Princess Leia's buns. Okay, I had a vision. Initially, it wasn't supposed to be like it, only down. But then I was like, mm, you know what? I might change it. I have seen like this TikToker, Brooke Mo, she was doing it. Basically, you twist your you divide each side. First of all, you have two sides. Each side you divide in two. Then you kind of rotate each one. And then while you're rotating each one, you also rotate them like... I don't know how to explain it, but probably you got the idea. So let's see what it turns out. I slept more than eight hours with this. So uh, I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. Because if this thing goes wrong, then... Oh my god, there is a chance that I won't like it at all. Because, well, it won't be the first time when I don't like a certain house hairstyle that I make so uh yeah how about that oh oh okay before I did this one I was just gonna remove oh, this is hard to remove what the heck come on oh, okay there we go this is like a heavy workout <laughs> if you have long nails you might break them or somehow you might rip part of your hair Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, okay, we're, I'm getting the hang of it. Hold on. Okay, we have this. Now we're gonna uh, try to do this. So you see what I was... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, maybe the rolling up was a bad idea. <laughs> Ow! This, this doesn't look good. I can't... No, 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 no. This looks terrible. Oh, my Lord. No, 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 no. Look at all this. Oh, this is disaster. You see what I was trying to do, like, here? It's just... Well, it looks good on some people, and some people not. I for the people who it doesn't look that good. Maybe if I brush this out, because now it looks just gross, honestly. I don't know what was the idea, what was the intention. I had a vision. Guess what? It didn't work. So, I need to brush this out, though. Like, look at all this. I mean, you can get it there, but, um, ouch, definitely not what I was hoping for, not what I was, it looks like someone pooped on my hair, and I don't like it, so let me brush these out, and I will go back to you, and hopefully we'll have a better looking hair, the fact that it still feels cold from the water means how much it has dried, but yeah, I'm gonna go back at you. So I brushed my hair out, and this is what we have. It looks like a kakadudu. Honestly, it looks disgusting. So in the end, I might just put some water, brush it out, because I have a naturally straight hair, so a little bit of water and some brushing will dye these curls down, and I will get my hair to normal. But at least it has some volume, you know? Now I feel like the boxing braids would have been a better decision. I did it from time to time, you know? But uh, I thought, maybe try something new. It's not a bad idea, try new things. But this doesn't mean that you like the result. And I clearly don't. That was this time I filled the TikTok and said, oh my gosh, it looks terrible. Like, I don't like it. And then I kind of do something like this. Or I don't know. And I was like, hmm, maybe it's not that bad. And I started liking it a little bit. But yeah, not every hairstyle is for me. I don't even know like what hairstyles I'm supposed to do. So I can look good and I like the result. But uh, not the worst idea. Good thing is that I don't plan on going out today, so uh, nobody will see this. Maybe except my parents, but they don't care about us. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm. you will see this when I post this vlog, so I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly, it's not that bad. Let's just say that I don't like it enough. I tried to straight my hair back. Uh, yeah, it just looked so good yesterday, and now it looks like a piece of trash. Like, hold on, I will actually... Okay. Wow, it's so sunny right here. There we go. Okay, this is what we ended up with. I just put water and brushed it down with a comb. Yes, I do have a brush. But I thought with the comb it might help me. Uh, Yeah, it's just... <sighs> it's better than what it was, but I still hate it. It looks hideous at this point. It was so silky, so smooth yesterday. And now... Come on, it looks like nothing, look at all this. I didn't know what was, what was I thinking, well, I know what was I thinking. This is definitely not what I expected it to be, but, but, well, 
we live and we learn we live and we learn it dried out honestly i didn't use i didn't wet my whole hair probably this is what i should do to wet the whole thing blow dry it and it will be back to normal but do you really want to do this because it would take me get a lot of time to dry it because my my hair is well this long oh, guys this doesn't look good so comment down below if you know any hairstyles that would work with straight hair and that won't look hideous like this one the boxing braids work on me very fine actually i have to say i have tried them a few times and they're great but but this i don't know what i thought it would be i checked out some people doing it and it looked great on them i guess i just wasn't lucky i found a way to deal with my hair and it's not that bad but look how long it is it's getting it's getting longer which genuinely i like but i wanted to talk about something else because i got this website like sounded like with technical questions about like interviews like software engineer interviews and what they're usually talking i decided to chat about this yes this vlog today will be mainly about chatting because sometimes you know i don't go out that much because i don't have that much time so i feel like people who are general vlogging i did this i did that like i don't have time to do all this and most of the activities that i'm currently doing they are practically for this will go out yes they are practically for the inside but here are some things that i have been looking at so basically you have questions about concepts and technology you need to know like if this person whoever you're interviewing and the candidate for the job doesn't know like basic things like maybe they should consider getting a job somewhere else or at least study for this interview they'll have technical questions and questions related to personality and culture and believe it or not this is the part that I hate the most because I have had a few interviews and we always started with get to know each other and when they tell me, tell me something about yourself and I'm like, okay, what should I say now? Because I know a lot of things about myself, like I love reading books, I love posting on the internet, I write these stories, like whatever, I do plenty of stuff, you know, things that I'm interested in, but I'm trying to pick things that actually will make like a good impression and also one of the other things is that will be Maybe slightly related to my job because yes, I have worked in a team before. I have done a couple of projects at university. I have worked solo, my own project, you know. I am interested in things, you know, different maybe variety of things. But let's just say that I don't know which one should I say to make like a good impression. And yes, everybody's watching YouTube and stuff like this. You know, you shouldn't say this. Yes, I was saying, yes, I'm investing my time in posting on YouTube, you know, like trying to grow up as a creator, you know, to put the things that I like online for people that like the same thing so we can share the same interest, maybe find such people, you know, all these things that are interesting for me. But at the same time, I don't know if someone will care because, yes, they want to get to know you. So they want to know, can you work in a team if you're a problematic person, like if you're maybe a picky person, you know, like, I'll say problematic, you kind of create out of general, I don't like this, I don't like that, you know, the picky people, they just want to know that they can work with you, because after all, it's not only about get the work done, it's about get the work done in peace, you know, you can understand each other with these people who you're working with, because most of the time, you'll be working in a team, you're not going to be working solo, yes, there are some tasks which you will do alone, but after all, all these tasks are part of a group project that you do with other people. So if you can't communicate with people, if you're a problematic, like you just don't understand yourself with other people, maybe you shouldn't be here in the first place. And this is why it's very important for others to like understand some things about you. So they kind of understand what type of person you are and if they want such type of person in this company. But yeah, let's see what questions they have. Looking at this website, literally the answer to the questions are literally with one max two sentences sometimes. You don't need to try to explain a whole paragraph about the question. Maybe like keeping it short and simple will help you better. For example, can you explain what data structure is? And the answer they have given, data structures are a way of storing, organizing, and manipulating data. Examples of data structures include trees, graphs, and arrays. Keep it short and simple because sometimes I have noticed it about myself when I talk about something. No need to be related to my job or anything. I started explaining it so much, like so many details to like pre-stories and stuff like this that sometimes I forget what I was talking about, how I started and how I ended like talking what I'm talking currently. So, you know, maybe keeping it short and simple will help yourself 
to understand better like what you wanted to say and also the people who are listening to you and your answers because after all they just need like two minutes to understand if you know what you're doing and if you don't because sometimes like giving to these theoretical questions before even giving to the practical ones like yeah if you don't know the simple things that you should learn at university of course we have passed this like then why did you apply for this job in the first place like they expect you to have something because they don't have the time to train you from the beginning you know to explain you this this and this they expect you to know some things so they can put all the things that you know into a given project or something to make you understand them better by working with them and also like training over and over again what is a linked list linked lists are similar to arrays in that they refer to a linear data structure which form chain like structures however the elements are not always stored in contagious memory locations two sentences you don't need to explain like prehistorical questions like where this appeared and why we're using it now two sentences that's more than enough of course you have like to solving coding problems for example here we have 14 technical coding interview questions and sometimes you don't need to write an actual code if you can explain what you will do or how you will solve a given problem that is enough for them because if you can explain it, it means you can write it down. If you have no idea what to do, it means that you can write it down either. Like, it, this is how it works. So, explain how would you write a reverse string in Java. To reverse a string in Java, first of all, you need to declare a string. Then you should take out the length of that string and loop through the string's characters. Finally, you need to reverse the order of the characters in the new string. But, here's the thing, I would say one, but just because you know how to explain something, it doesn't mean that you can write it down. Here is other thing like there are people who they're very good at explaining but when it comes to like practically do this thing they have no idea what they're doing like sometimes maybe you understand like all the lectures that theoretically you're top the best top tier but when it comes to practically using this and implementing this in your daily work some people um yeah they're just they're stuck and they have no idea what to do and how to do what they just said so you might be asked to explain how you solve a question but at the same time they might ask you to solve this question to make a working problem and don't you don't try to look somewhere because first of all it's not gonna work most of the interviews are in person which means that they will look what you're doing yes i had one online interview that was because the people who were supposed to interview me they couldn't be at work that day when my interview was so yeah if you're still like wondering like what is going on they might think that you are trying to cheat or that you're looking through different websites i don't know but they can wait to figure out and if you have learned this if you have studied you should be i don't know you should answer straight away without thinking so much yes of course sometimes there is this nerve that you're on an interview job but if you have studied you should definitely pass this in the last category that I will talk about this topic in general, just because like I talk too much about it and probably not many of you will be interested, but I feel like there is a part of people who this implements to all the people who are going to work for someone in the company. It doesn't need to be a software engineer, so this could be specifically for you, but just in general. And these are questions that maybe the interviewer, it could be the boss, it could be other the employees that will ask you. This is about how we perform working in a team, you know. Let's say that someone constantly opposites your ideas, like whatever you say, they say exactly the opposite. This will go wrong, like this won't work and stuff like this, what will we do? Or what do you think makes a good uh, team? Like what type of people should work to make this team work in? Like what should we do and don't make basically do's and don'ts in a team so it can be successful? And there are tons of questions related to this. So let's just have to be prepared or what do you expect to achieve with this team or with this project, maybe with this company? Like, like what do you expect to learn from your journey here because you don't know how long you'll be here and maybe you can also like i expect to learn a lot for this company what it's doing this part to do help me understand like for example the current language that you're learning or just to upgrade everything that you know already and maybe to learn even new things because you know we learn something new every day well it depends on if it's every day but you get the idea so basically just be prepared and yes the nerves can start kicking in something you should avoid because some people get so nervous that they get stuck and on their interviews they say absolutely nothing or they start talking nonsense which first of all has nothing to do with the question 
they have been asked and second like it makes bad impression yes people understand that not everyone is calm to their interviews also don't be too calm as well to pretend like oh i know everything i'm gonna pass it because they can prove you they can prove you that you don't know everything you know there's always a person who can do this of course this is not their mission like this is not why they're interviewing they just want to know something about you if you understand solid things about the job position you're applying to or at least things that you should you should have studied in university and that's it pretty much just Keep it calm. Hopefully, I could follow my own advice because I don't know if I will be able to do it. But yeah, pretty much that's it. To make this a bit more interesting, here is a goofy side of me. Yes, I spend a lot of time on TikTok during 2020, and sometimes like random moves, you know, dances are starting to hit. Then I remember like Charlie's first video. People were mocking her. Hello guys, it's Charlie. Welcome back to it. I was like. What kind of intro is this? But honestly, it was so funny. Like, I feel like this is how people introduced to her. And it was just that this part, you know, 2020 was a crazy year. M many people were saying at home they were glued to our phones. I feel like I'm even doing it now. Maybe I shouldn't be, but I am. But anyways, like, I still remember the Renegade a little bit, to be honest, which is weird. Yes, this is not, like, the original. I never learned the original. It was this girl. I don't know, it was just as crazy because Sufjan that Charlie created the Renegade and like it wasn't her then people were dragging out. A lot of drama happens if TikTok was a viral thing but yeah, sometimes I just like to, you know, do these random things even though like I have no idea what is happening, like why I'm doing all this, you know, but I do. I, it's a good side. I just have these moments when I just do something then it yeah, transforms to something else so of course I'm not gonna be doing this in my job interview like I'm not crazy and this is something well even though this will go online this is something private that I do only when I'm at home I'm not gonna start dancing online like woohoo or like on the street like doing this no <laughs> you never see me doing this but you know everybody has their goofy side so comment down below what is yours apart from the goofy side they kind of had a I would say a lack of motivation but I was supposed to start the new chapter of the episode like a long time ago well let's say a few hours ago but then I started doing something else with Rotary Kissing and probably I shouldn't have done this. Honestly, the time is mine. I can do whatever I want. Here's the thing. But I'm starting to feel like I do a lot of things that maybe I can leave them for the time when I rest after dinner where I don't do anything. And like before dinner, like the whole day to do stuff. Like I don't have a job, but I still have plenty of things to do. Maybe you should do some of my university work as I'm preparing for this final exam not very very strictly though i think it to apply for one of the last dates mostly because i feel like i have enough time to prepare crossing my fingers for that but yeah i just feel like people are glued to their phones to internet including myself and maybe i can use this somehow to say it in my favor to do something for myself with it not only like yes i love watching youtubers because sometimes i started looking videos not because of the video itself but also to see how people are talking how they're acting you know maybe i can implement this in my videos as well you know from educational purpose but at the same time i can do this after you know when i have finished with my work for the day you know so this is what i'm gonna do and uh, yeah also i kind of forgot to mention there is this uh coding problem which you can solve for this company like it's not mandatory like you should do this if you want to get invited for an interview no, no, no. It's just if you want i have checked it i don't think we have done something similar at university i mean like maybe theoretically we have talked about it but practically i don't think we have implemented it so i'm not sure if i can do that i can search online of course like if someone has done something similar you know help out with videos maybe or different websites but um yes let's just say that it's so mandatory the good thing and I will write something only if I'm sure like it will be something working and that looks good because also like your code should be readable as well because otherwise if I can't do it I just don't want to write things which look stupid and they don't mean anything and people to look at me like and this person is applying for a job well we're gonna do video but it's already I know so but anyways that will be the end of the video I hope you enjoyed please like this video share it with friends and subscribe to this channel Turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!